Hi there. So I've been on omeprazole two times in my life. The first time I took it, it was really good for me. Um, just helping me deal with really bad gastritis right after H. pylori. And although I took it longer than I would suggest to someone, it um, <clears throat> helped my stomach take a breather for a little bit. However, this, the past couple months that I've taken omeprazole <clears throat> for gastritis, I hadn't taken it for like a year and a half. And I started taking it again <clears throat> due to bad gastritis. And the first month it was like, oh great, everything's back to normal, good, I'll be, I'll wean off it in a little bit. Um, and I, I kept taking it and taking it. And I noticed my stomach started having more pain. And I was thinking, man, am I going to have to up the omeprazole? What's going on? You know, my stomach's in pain. Um, and I was just like, oh, what am I going to do? I started getting headaches, like in the middle of my head. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what is happening to my body? And I thought that, you know, it was all tied to stomach issues and stuff that, oh man, like, do I just have, is this tied to gastritis? What's going on? You know, I have this intense, you know, stomach raw pain type thing in my head. I, do I need new glasses? I literally went to the optometrist <laughs> um, thinking like, is it my eyes? <laughs> um, so I, of course, don't want to stay on omeprazole very long because I know your body does become dependent on it. So I switched to Pepsid AC, 20 milligrams. Easy switch, by the way, no kickbacks. Not like when I had to do it last time because I was on a omeprazole for like six months last time. This time I was only on it for like two. But here's the thing. My headaches went away and the intense stomach pain went away when I switched. And I realized, oh my gosh, it was, it, I think it was omeprazole, you know? And so I realized that omeprazole, I was having symptoms from the drug that was supposed to help me. That was getting headaches and stomach pain from, you know? So if you are on omeprazole, you know, that could be, you know, you're not alone. It could be a symptom of it. And my suggestion is to wean off as soon as possible. Get on Pepsid AC, um, the 20 milligrams. It's an easy switch. You just start taking Pepsid. And if, okay, let me not, let me preface that. It's not an easy switch if you've been on omeprazole for a while. If you have been and you're trying to get off, I suggest watching my other video because that's when I switched after taking it for six months. So I will link that below or if I can tag it somewhere in this video, I will. Um, that's, yeah, that's the, that's the video you wanna watch. But if you've only been on Meprazole for like two or three months, then I strongly suggest just Switching to Pepsid AC, 20 milligrams, and then slowly wean yourself off. I was on the 20 for about two to three weeks, and then I switched to uh, the 10 milligram tablets with a five milligram chewable. I only did that because I couldn't find five milligram little tablets or else I would have swallowed three each morning. Um, so I'm taking 15 milligrams now. I've been doing that for about a week. Um, in a couple days, I'm going to try and switch to the 10 and then I will switch to five and then I'll be off. Um, so that's my crazy omeprazole story. <laughs> um, if you have any questions or, um, any tips for other people, go ahead and leave them in the comments and yeah, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.